Hi everyone, this is Theo from Parkerblocks.com. Today I want to share with you my process and workflow when it comes to editing videos. Videos like those sketching tutorials, our product reviews, travel log videos, sketching videos, and even this video that you are watching right now. Hopefully this will give you some insight and help you understand how I create these videos and how I'm actually able to upload videos like almost every day. The first step in the process is to record the video footage. I work a bit differently depending on the type of content that I'm creating. For example, if I'm creating a travelogue video or maybe a art product review or maybe this video that you're watching, if I say something wrong or if I forgot to turn on my mic, I would actually just stop recording and delete that video and do a retake. So sometimes if there are mistakes, I would just delete and do a retake. The reason for that is because I want to keep the number of videos that I record to a minimum number of videos so that when I get back home, when I do the editing, I just have all the essential videos, all the necessary videos to work with. If I record too many videos, I have to spend a lot of time to go through the whole video and that is really time consuming. So that, so that applies to travelogue videos, art supply uh, videos, and also um, some of those um, tutorial videos. So when it comes to recording videos, I tend to do a lot of retakes. On a bad day, I may record so many times that my voice becomes a bit dry. And the reason why I do so many retakes is because I want to keep the number of video files that I create down to a small manageable number. If I record too many video files, when I do editing later on, I have to watch through quite a lot of files and that can be quite time consuming. So that's why I want to make sure that all the videos that I recorded, all the segments, they are perfect. If they are not perfect, then I will have to do a retake. When it comes to recording sketching tutorials, I work a bit differently. I will record the whole tutorial and then do the editing in post. So if I say something wrong, I would just cut out the audio for that part and maybe do some narration over it. Or maybe I would just cut out that segment if it's not important. So for sketching tutorials, it's a bit easier, but it's more time consuming because I record the whole segment. I would have to watch through the whole segment to determine which are the areas that are important and which are not and have to be cut out. The reason why I record sketching tutorials like that is because when it comes to doing a retake, that would often mean that I have to redraw something and that can be quite tedious. So sometimes when I'm actually recording art product reviews, when I'm doing drawing demonstrations, if I say something wrong, sometimes I may actually delete that footage and do a retake, which means I have to redraw. Sometimes I waste a lot of paper. So after I have finished recording all the videos, I will just transfer those video files onto my computer. I'm using a Mac Pro from 2013. It has a quad-core 3.7 gigahertz processor. And this is my monitor, uh, BenQ SW2700. So let me show you how I actually import the video files. So take for example the Tokyo travelogue videos that I have created. I spent seven days in Tokyo so I would create seven folders. So all the video files in this SD card they are not divided into days. I would actually look at the date that those video files are created and then basically just pull them into different folders like this. I find that it's easier to work like this rather than importing all the hundreds of videos into the software. So in Final Cut Pro, I will create one event for each video that I want to produce. So I spent seven days in Tokyo. I created seven events here. Now these three are actually some product reviews. So again, for each video that I want to create, I create an event for this. So these three are actually up product reviews. They are three separate events. Now the thing with Final Cut Pro is inside the event, you can create 
several other projects and each project is actually a video file but for my purposes I create one event and in that event I only have one project now the reason for this is because for example if you are making a video at a conference you can create one event for that day now during that conference there may be several different workshops so you can create one video file for each workshop from that day from that event so these are all the video files that I have imported I'm not sure how many there are let me look at the finder and see okay there are 90 videos video files here so nine zero so that's quite a lot of video files but all these video files they are mostly essential files because I have already deleted all the files that are that I know that I'm not going to be using so after I've imported everything I will just select all select all the files here and then drag it to the timeline below so I will just drag these video files here to the timeline below here and that's when the editing process will start I will just watch through the clips here at the end usually I will just watch the end and the starting of the video clip and I will just delete away all the unnecessary parts so I do not have to watch through the whole clip so for example take this clip for example I do not have to watch through the whole clip I just have to watch the first five seconds or the last five seconds and delete away all the unwanted parts and I will go through all the clips like that just cut the front and cut the back and that's really all there is if I have a video for sketching tutorial the video is going to be very long so I have to watch through the whole video to determine which areas to keep and which areas to cut so that can be quite time consuming so working with short clips like this I believe it saves me quite a lot of time but of course it really depends on the type of work type of video that you are creating after I have all the essential footage in the timeline I will go and look for music I usually look for music in the YouTube creator studio so this is YouTube creator studio and here there are several tabs this is the one to look for create and there is an audio library here now in this audio library there are hundreds of free music that you can choose from and also sound effects so I usually look for um, more upbeat happy music to go with my video you can search for music based on a genre based on the mood the instrument the duration and there are actually some ratings for this music depending on how popular they are and you can download them for free for use with your video so this is really handy the downside to using YouTube audio library is because this is a free resource many people will be using the same music as you do so this may make your video feel a bit generic so that's something to take note of after I have downloaded the audio files I will just drag the audio files below the video footage so that I can have the audio running in the background now when I'm talking in the video like this when I'm actually talking here I would just make the background music softer and when I'm not talking then I will make the background music a bit louder so for example for this particular clip I would make the background music louder I would make the video the original video audio a bit lower this process of editing the videos and finding audio for the video takes me around one and a half hours to two hours so this is quite time consuming 
finding the appropriate music for your video can be a bit difficult sometimes because you need to find the right music to suit the mood of the video so for me i usually dread when it comes to finding music because that can be really time consuming so i'm usually quite happy when i'm recording or when i'm editing our product reviews because i don't use any music there i can do the video edits like this and then it's done i can export the video but for travelogue videos like this sometimes i do need that music and these uh, videos usually take me longer to create compared to our product reviews or even sketching tutorials after all the edits are done i can just export the video so nowadays my videos are recorded in 4k resolution so i would export them out as a 4k resolution video file so this is the setting that i have created now one good thing about final cut pro is you can actually export and then have the software upload directly to either youtube vimeo facebook or other uh, websites that are supported here so this is quite good because sometimes if the video exporting process takes a long time you have to leave it overnight and when you leave it overnight it's good to be able to have that video upload by itself after it has finished exporting so that's great now with uh, software like the older versions of Adobe Premiere when you export the video there is no way to upload directly to YouTube for example now during the time when I was in Manchester uh, last year during the Urban Sketches Symposium I was using a Dell laptop running Adobe Premiere I have to export the file at night set my alarm for one hour wake up after a nap and then upload the video to youtube creating travelogue videos or daily videos can be quite stressful sometimes if you need to upload the video on the same day for example last year while i was at the urban sketches symposium in manchester uk i spent two weeks there i tried to create a video every single day and it was really stressful so during the daytime i would shoot a lot of footage and at night i would edit the video i would find the music and usually by the time i'm done editing the videos it's around 11 or maybe 12 midnight i would be very tired i would just um, press the export button and set my alarm for one hour so that one hour later i can wake up to upload that video because um, i was using the older version of adobe premiere which doesn't allow me to upload directly to youtube or maybe i just did not know that there was a function to do that so it was really quite tiring to create those videos in manchester every night i had difficulty opening my eyes while editing the videos so it was quite stressful and the reason why I wanted to create videos and upload daily over there is because I do not want to bring all the video footage back to Singapore and edit it after the holiday. I don't know why but it seems overwhelming to me. Those videos in Manchester, those are some of my best travel sketching videos ever made. If you haven't watched them, you can check them out. I'll put the link in the video description below. So those uh, days in Manchester, they were quite stressful, but it doesn't have to be that way because it really is determined by your workflow. For example, in my recent Tokyo trip, I actually shot a lot of footage in Tokyo, but I brought all those footage back to Singapore to edit it. So again, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, I separated, separated the videos out into different days and then I did them day by day so it's much more manageable less overwhelming so that's all for today's video I hope you have a better understanding on how I create and edit videos for my youtube channel thanks for watching see you in the next video bye